damn, it feels good to be a gangster. A real gangster ass nigga plays his cards right. A real gangster ass nigga never runs his fucking mouth. Cause hey everyone, this here is Speedy Fighter. Hope everyone is doing good this nice weekend. And here I am going to be showcasing some Smash Brothers gameplay. I know it's been about maybe a little over a week now since I posted my first Smash Brothers video where I was utilizing my main character Ike. Now I uh, hope you enjoyed the first clip and uh, just stay tuned till the end so you can see my revenge against that Ganondorf. Because yeah, he styled on me and disrespected me, but I, I end up uh, disrespecting him back, which was which is pretty funny. So stick stick it out till the end, and then you'll get to see it. All right, everyone. So yeah, let's get into the gameplay here. Now I'm using Wario, so he's gonna be the second character I use in this edition of Four Glory. Like I said, I'm gonna be going over every character. Now I'm gonna right now I'm just kind of starting off with the characters that I enjoy using the most. And Wario is probably, in my opinion, I would say he's my secondary right now. I just Something about his character, uh, he's he's such a troll character, which I'm sure anyone who plays Smash Brothers a lot knows. And he's also he's also pretty rare. Like, I don't see a lot of uh, Wario's out there in the Smash scene when it comes to competitive and also in For Glory. So it's, you know, it's always nice to use a character that's not as used. It's It, it makes you feel a little special. But yeah, so in this gameplay here, I'm actually fighting an Olimar. And you'll notice here is... I'm just trying to take off the stock, and then I want to do as much damage as possible on it on the second stock, and just kind of get him to a certain percentage, where that where my uh, where my gas could kill him, my waft if you if you want to call it that, can kill him. And that if you don't know what that is, that is Wario's down B. So Wario has like one of the best kill moves in the game, and you can even hit confirm into it, which you'll see. Spoiler alert: you'll see me hit confirm into the waft in this video. Now there I used uh, Wario's kill throw, which is his forward throw. Now it's it's a it's a pretty good fourth it's a pretty good throw when it comes to killing as long as you're at the edge right so it it goes horizontally it doesn't go vertically so you have to make sure you're at the edge if you really want to get that kill but in the end it does it does kill quite early so in the end definitely utilize um, the fourth throw as much as you can with Wario when you're at the edge and also to rack up damage because his fourth through throw is his most damaging uh, tool out of all the throws like he doesn't really have a combo throw unfortunately. So you want to utilize this th forward throw just to rack up the damage. So I'll, I'll usually utilize it even just, even if it's not going to kill. Like it's not one of those kill throw moves where you just want to utilize it really when you think you're going to get the kill. It sets him up pretty well too, I find. It's not, it doesn't set him up as well as like his up throw or his down throw, but it does about 13% damage, 12 to 13%. It all varies on how much you've uh, utilized it, right? So yeah, so I'm just trying to rack up the damage here. Um, one thing I haven't been using, which I forgot to mention, is his, his actual best throw is not one of his regular throws. It's his command throw, which is another reason why I love using Wario. So I'm a big command throw guy. Um, back in the... There we go. Hold on. I'm going to pause for that. So there I got my down air. Jump up quickly into a waft for the kill. Now that's a hit, nice hit confirm right there. And the, the fact that Wario can do that blows my mind. So yeah, but yeah, the fact that he has a command throw, I really love. There is his command throw in action right there. And yeah, when I was, uh, I used to be a big Street Fighter 4 player, but my main character was Abel. And the main reason I used Abel was his mobility was pretty good. He was a heavy hitter. He could take damage. And especially, he had a command grab, which I love the fa the command grab because it just opens people up so well. And even in Smash Brothers, Wario's command grab is actually really good. Very hard to punish for the enemy. And it, it could rack up the damage. Usually it does about 9% if the person's actually trying to shake out of it and they know what they're doing. But you can maybe get more, but it's great for setups. Like there, I, I, I end up doing a dash stack after. No, that's not a combo. But it, you know, it catches people off guard sometimes. So you can just run in and go for a like a normal throw. Go in for another command throw. You can follow up with a bike even into like an aerial. Like, it's really good. And it's very easy to catch people. It's also easy to gimp people with it. Which is another awesome thing about Wario. And I, I'm pretty sure I try to gimp him a bit too. I also like to use it as, ed as an edge guard tool. Now you can't like obviously if they go for the edge, it's not going to get them. But like if they if they land above the edge, you can end up grabbing with the with the command throw. Now here, this this Lucina player was not horrible. I think I think this Lucina player just did not know the matchup at all. So they were just the way they were playing was just not the way you want to go about it with Wario. Wario's biggest weakness and one of the reasons why you probably don't see like people don't see him at competitive play as much, even though he is a good character and he has a lot of great tools to him and great great things about him is his approach options the only real approach option he has is his bike like he has aerials aren't bad 
but they're not the they're not the greatest for approaching. And his, even his bike, when someone knows how to counter that, with this, this character or sorry, this Lucina here, doesn't really know how to counter it. But when you know how to counter it, the bike isn't even a, a really good uh, approach tool as well. But uh, yeah, that's like that's where his biggest weakness. And in all honesty, uh, other than like yeah, not having a com uh, combo throw either, which kind of hurts him in some ways. He's he's just a solid character in every other regard. So. So yeah, here I'm, I'm kind of just playing around with this Lucina, so I took a stock off, and I'm I'm in a good position right now. And again, I, I would just was not threatened by this Lucina. I was going off the edge, and you'll see me fooling around a little more than I should be. But um, again, it was just wasn't threatened. And like, for a Lucina player to not threaten you, it's, it's not the way to go. And there I went for like just a raw waft, why not, kind of thing. It would have killed, for sure, because of my rage. And she's at 59%, so it definitely would have killed. So I was just like, why not go for him? In such a big lead now, why not take silly risks like that? Now his forward air, go to it's a good to it's probably his best approach option in the air when you don't have a bike. But uh, it's again just not it's not really threatening at all. It's not going to get you much out of it. So yeah, so again just playing around with the Lucina here and another command grab. They always walk into that stuff. So. Kind of unfortunate, but yeah, but yeah. I land a, land another four throw there. Now another thing to note with Wario, another good tool is up there. I, I go for the gimp, and you know who cares? I'm in such a lead. I didn't really care. Again, taking risks. Did a little taunt there just because I was just kind of embarrassed. But yeah. So another thing with the um, Wario is his down tilt. His down tilt's a great pressure tool. If you utilize it, you can actually, uh, depending on the distance and where you hit them, you can actually trip them, which is really great. And that, it's another thing you can do with his dash attack is if you uh, hit them a certain way, you can actually trip them as well. And it does like very little damage, but it's it puts them in such a bad position. I'll usually like sometimes I'll even charge like a forward smash, or, or, or I'll predict a roll. Because a lot of them, a lot of people will just roll forward because they're just not expecting like that to happen. Like people just don't have matchup experience. Excuse me against Wario, so they're not really expecting that. And right there, I just uh. Just ended off with a nice forward throw up the edge. Like I said, it's a it's a great kill move. It's probably his best kill move overall. So, and here is my revenge on the Ganondorf. Now this is a very short clip, but it's it's a pretty funny one. So, I'll let it play out for you guys. If you enjoyed, make sure to share, like, and subscribe. And if you want more um, Super Smash Bros. gameplay, let me know. Next, uh, next gameplay will be on my next favorite character, which is Ganondorf, actually, the King of Disrespect. But after that, I'm gonna start taking suggestions in the comments. So if you have any suggestions, just let me know. And there I get that command grab gim. But yeah, so I hope everyone has a great day. And, uh, again, if you're interested in more content, just let me know in the comments, and make sure to subscribe to stay tuned. Take care, everyone. Have a great day.